I didn't get a chance to say because we didn't have a show that day. All the fathers out there, happy Father's Day, belated Father's Day. Give a clap. That's right. Father's Day is always awkward for me because people wish me a happy Father's Day, like friends of mine and stuff, but like I don't have any kids. <laughs> so do they just assume that I got these kids I never fucking talk about? Like why? Which is not as offensive as it used to be because people have been saying this shit since I was 15. And at that point, you're making a racial commentary. That's not a happy father thing. You just, I'm, well, he's 15. He's probably got some kids. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Have they been doing it to you since you were like 12? Two things people always say, happy father's day. And whenever I'm in Target, they ask me, do I work there? Those are the two fucking, okay. Hey, She's like, uh, where's the fitting room? I was like, I don't know where the fitting room is. You don't work here? <laughs> Bitch, no, do you work here? You know what I mean? Like, I used to be friendly about it, but it's too much. Everybody in there got a red shirt on, I got a fucking suit on, and she asked me who I work with her. All the way from Ridgeway, South Carolina. Please give it up for Mr. Kennedy Alexander Robinson, everybody. Oh man. Hey, uh, guys, let's uh, let's give it up for Will, man. He's doing a great job, isn't he? Awesome, man. Give it up for all the other comics. And uh, let's give it up for the Golden Girls right here, man. Got Rose and Blanche. That's what's up, man. We bringing this up at this place right here. That's awesome, man. I love that show. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, man, let's, uh, let's go ahead and start talking about this uh, disrespectful heat we've been having right here. Oh, my God. Is it that hot or what? I saw a lady outside uh, not too long ago wiping her forehead, and all her hair came off. She said, you know what? Don't even worry. I don't even care no more. So if y'all know who had is, is y'all Tell them Kennedy Alexander Robinson got their hair. I don't want everybody going around, you know. Oh my God, man. <laughs> it's so good that we can laugh at it because, you know, so much is going on in the world right now, man. Y'all, I'm tired of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of all this racism. And I'm just tired of all this hatred, man. This stuff got to stop, man. But above all of that, man, yeah, come for that. Don't be kidding, man. But above all of that, though, man, I'm tired of, I'm tired of these Beyonce fans. I'm just, oh my God. And not all our fans. I'm not talking about all our fans. I'm talking about the Beehive. They know who they are. And these are the most annoying people in the world. I just hate when a Beyonce song come on. They start mean looking at everybody and walking around and singing all off key. I'm like, you gonna sit your drunk and love behind down somewhere? I'm tired of that, man. This is a church picnic. Why not? It was the bad part, like, they ain't even the female, they be the dudes. Mm. <laughs> but Beyonce female fans ain't no better either, man. These are the type of girls that get excited over reality TV shows and hot Cheetos. <laughs> you, ever, you ever seen these little chicks? <laughs> you give them back hot Cheetos, they be like, oh my god, these hot Cheetos is busting. <laughs> we about to get ready for the Kardashians, oh my god. Some of the women in here just realized I'm a hood chick. Oh my god. I love hot cheetos. <laughs> I tried to take one of these girls out to dinner, man. And uh, I learned something about hood chicks tonight. Like, uh, they like to talk about third person. I didn't know that. So we sit down and the waitress said, uh, Can I start you guys out with something to drink? And uh, this girl was like, um, Stacy will have. I said, Hold on, Stacy? Who is Stacy? Somebody else coming here? There's a coupon on the but too. Hold up now. She said, I'm Stacy Silly. <laughs> and she said, Stacy would have a water with some light ice, a bowl of lemons, and some sugar packets. <laughs> I said, like, I know this, this girl ain't making lemonade, man. Right? I know it's not. Oh my God. So the waitress leave and come back in my drink and get this girl her ingredients. And uh, <laughs> then she 
Stacey says, okay, I get you guys some meat. And uh, Stacey was like, um, no, because first of all, Stacey can't read nothing on this menu. What is a horse divorce? I said, do you mean hors d'oeuvres? She's like, whatever, y'all ain't got no chicken finger baskets or nothing? I mean, dang, can the chick get some hot Cheetos or not? Y'all, I, I left. I couldn't take it no more. And I went outside and I said, I'm done with this. I can't believe white women act like this. I didn't know. I didn't know that. I didn't know that's how y'all was behaving. I was shocked. <laughs> and the thing about the hood chicks, man, if you see a hood chick, you probably gonna see a little hood chicken training somewhere nearby. And, and these little girls is off the chain. I was at a kindergarten graduation the other day, and these girls were talking about, "Ooh, girl, I'm so hype. I'm so turnt." We gonna be turning up on these little first graders next year. I said, what y'all so excited for? I just moving from one side of the hallway to the other. It's like, whatever, boo boo. You just hating, cause you ain't graduating. That's all that is. I said, somebody come get these little white kids right now. Hey y'all, uh, thank you guys for an awesome. My name is Kenny Alexander Robinson. Let's uh, make some noise for our host, Mr. Will Jacobs. Thank <laughs> you.